My mans, how's it going? You know the Minecraft trailer where everything looks kind of a little bit simple? I followed low res bones tutorial on how to how to do this and I thought hey let's let's see if I can survive a hundred days in here and you know what absolutely no deaths this time if I die it a hundred percent counts no matter what I say if I start saying something about a mathematician or this water bucket thing or, or the nether don't listen to it all right you just ignore it but what you're not going to ignore is that subscribe button all right you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna press that right now if you want to subscribe you, you do it okay if you don't want to just do it anyways. Yeah, here we go. 100 days in simple Minecraft. Okay, day one. Day one of 100. It's gonna be... Yeah, here we go. I spawned in a swamp, and, uh... As much as I like a swamp, I thought, you know what? I spent way too much time in swamps. Time to move on, right? Time to... I'll just worry about that later. Right now, the top priority is getting armor. Nice, good old protection, right? So I got wood right away, uh, but then I realized, you know, once again, that I... I forgot to change my skin again. So... What is my skin? What is, when did I set this? What it? Okay. Okay, looks like I'm being a frog! I mean, it was a frog for this one. It's gonna be good. I don't, I don't even know why. It, it, it doesn't. I, so I upgraded my wood tools to stone, uh, and then I started quickly looking around for anything interesting, and I started slaughtering a ton of wildlife. Uh, I'm gonna need all this. <laughs> Come here, big! So say I'm going to be a man who's not going hungry. There was a ruined, flooded nether- Have you ever seen one of these things underwater before? I mean, look at this. Ruined nether portal underwater. Beautiful. Oh, flint. Oh, oh, oh look at this gold. Obsidian. Take it all, take it all. Beautiful. Come on, up, let me go. Can you go- Can you do underwater nether? What's this? I kept following the river, and I was hoping to find a large cave or something, because uh, I, I didn't like this just flat, boring area. Giant flat field. Who wants to look at this for 100 days? I'll tell you right now, not me. I'm a man who needs you know, something to look at. So eventually I found a, a nice hill, and I went up it, and uh, there was a cave below it. Ooh, a hill and a cave. Pretty good. Oh, look at this. The iron? Nope, it's stupid. It's copper. No one cares about copper. I went in and I found the entrance to a mine system, which... Yeah, I, I don't know if this is something I should be doing on day one, but... What am I doing down here? What am I doing down here? Oh! Just gonna grab this, that's what I'm doing down here. This is this. I found some iron, uh, and I, I started pushing my luck by I quickly looting a chest, and... I, ooh, look at this! I got this from it. Oh, not bad at all. So I made a bed and uh, slept as a very happy man. Very good. Slip that down right there. Boom! Bingo bongo! First day done! Feeling good! With the iron that I had, I made a pickaxe. This was the first piece of iron gear I made. Nice, good old pickaxe. I never know what to make first, but... Looks like this time I chose the pickaxe. Then I made a shield, because... You know, I never use these things, and everyone freaks out, right? They go, hey, why am I not using a shield? And I go, I don't know, because I don't know how to use it. So I I got the shield, right? I'm not gonna... I'm not dying. So then I made boots, and a sword, and then... A bucket, because... Apparently these things are good to have, too. Good to have a good old bucket. So then I went and got some water and discovered just how... Look how nice it looks underwater with this... You know, whatever you would call this whole theme. After seeing this, I thought, okay, probably gonna end up making something underwater. As I always do, because this looks... This looks way too good to just ignore. Anyway, so I filled my bucket with water and uh, I practiced doing that... That thing that all the, the pro Minecraft players do. Oh, I did it. You see that? Oh, I did it. Easy. I can do it. I can do it 100% of the time. It's not even hard. It's not even hard. You know what, I, when you think about it, I, I mean, technically speaking, I am a pro Minecraft player, right? That, that, that doesn't mean you have to be good at the game, it just means you do it as a profession, and... Currently, right now, playing a lot of Minecraft for my job, so, uh, hey, there it is. I'm gonna leave a comment saying, Forge Labs is a pro Minecraft player, no matter what you say or anyone says, that's... Just focus on the script, what am I doing? So I got down in the mine and I started looking around. Oh! 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 Stop saying oh. It's just standard Minecraft stuff. I wanted to... There was an, an infected villager, and, uh... 
you get you get a man like that, you can do some good stuff. Apparently, I always hear about how good these things are, and uh, I didn't exactly know how to do this though. Wait, wait, wait! I'm gonna activate my brain. If I put him in a what's it called a boat, then I can cure him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do I do that? So I made a boat and went down, and I, I tried to get this man in. Get out of there! All of you, get out of there! Come on, come on! I only want the one guy. No, 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 are, is there something wrong with you before I spend an absurd amount of time like I did last time? Is there is there something you want to tell me now? Are you going to be a nitwit? What are you going to be? Are you going to be a normal guy or are you going to be a weirdo? You got the monocle on, so I got a good feeling about you. You look like a smart man. You're like me. Now, what do I do here? With the man safely in the boat, I started mining and... Uh so either looking for diamonds or more iron or I don't know, but I, I didn't find any diamonds, but I found a lot of iron and uh, you know what? That's all, all settled. I'll take that. That's good. This is the best day of my life right now. It's day two and I'm already rich beyond my wildest dreams. What are you doing? Whoa, 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 whoa. Little guy, little guy, so fast. Oh, why, why is there two? There's two little guys. Oh, relax, relax! No, 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 no. You're not taking this from me! I'm getting out of here. Where's my shield? Why are you in the boat? No, 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 no. Get out of there. Okay. No! I don't know what to do in this situation. I don't know what to do in this situation. I don't know what to do in this situation. No, please, come on. Please, stop. I have to use my brain. That's what I have to do. Please stop, please. My my hand is sweating. What am I doing down here? Why am I in this mine? I'm gonna have to fight him. Okay, just get me out of here. Okay. Okay, 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 relax. You're safe, you're safe, you're very safe. You're the safest man alive right now. Okay, I ended up in a hole, scared and confused, so I ate a bunch of raw meat. Yeah, good old raw meat. Who doesn't, who doesn't like eating that? But I wasn't regenerating any health. It was probably because I was eating raw meat. Why didn't... What, what was... I'm an idiot. I didn't know what to do because I was very concerned that I was going to die here. I thought this was... This is absolutely how I die. And I started to think of excuse... Like, that maybe my it was my cousin who was playing right here or something like that, but... Turns out I made it out. I, look at this. I, I just ran for it. I got to the furnace upstairs, cooked some food, and... You know, I was not feeling good at this point. This is the worst day of my life. Now that I was out of the cave, I, I was just happy to be alive, so I just slept. Day three, man with a full set of armor at this point. Feeling that's, you know, that's that's something to smile about on a good old day three. So now my next priority was shelter, and I didn't want to live here at this cave. I, I didn't like the look of this. It was just so boring around here. Not good, so I left and I started looking for somewhere nice to build. I ended up traveling pretty far. I, I was just killing a, a ton of animals everywhere I went. I'd just slaughter everything I saw. It was like a, I don't know. I can't, I can't think of anything clever to say. I was, just, I was just killing animals, right? Eventually, I ran into a, a pillager tower. You know these things? These giant... These things that I'd normally avoid? Well, you know what? You gotta be an idiot for trying to go in here and take this thing down on day three. Wait, is this guy friendly? If I let this guy out, is he gonna go on a killing spree but not on me? Oh! I'm gone. I'm letting this guy out. I hope those red eyes aren't for me. Please tell me they're not for me. Come on. You and me, let's take this place down. I found out that I could release the iron golems, and I thought, okay, you know what? Let's uh, get these guys out of the cages and let them start killing these guys for me. So I did that. I ran up and uh, planted my bed in the tower and emptied the chest. And you know what? There's not really much in this chest. Really, it really wasn't... I don't know. So I just ended up sleeping up here. In the morning, I took the jack-o'-lanterns, I made a boat, and uh, I sailed down the river because I still was not satisfied with the wherever I was. It just it was not interesting, you know. A man like me is somewhere very nice, somewhere absolutely beautiful to build. And I sailed for a while without seeing anything interesting at all. Uh, that was until I ended up in this like a frozen wasteland. And I was thinking, okay, look at this. This is. Some good stuff right here. Nice big old frozen spikes. There's a, it's like a frozen. This place looks pretty cool. 
Okay, yeah, I was starting to consider building my base here, but... Look at this. There's like polar bears. I'm not gonna build a base near a polar... I have no idea how these things work in Minecraft, and I'm... I'm not getting eaten by one of them. You know these things drag people out of their, like... Houses? And kill them in real life? Oh, who would live near the... So I'm not doing that, alright? Not, not, it's not happening. Oh, sunken ice ship? Oh, very cool. I sailed up to the ship and then uh, I jumped in and looted the chest. There really wasn't much of anything down here worth jumping into a frozen ocean for. It, I almost drowned too, so I, I don't know what was... Like, what was going on here? I made some golden carrots. Apparently these things are pretty good, so, you know what, hey, my man was gonna be eating good. Eating good, and I slept on the ship with this beautiful view around me. Ah, absolutely beautiful area. And because this area looked so nice, I was thinking, you know what? Maybe I'll build- I'll just build my base here. But I couldn't be sure, so I posted a poll on Twitter. And by the way, you know what? Why don't you go ahead and follow me on Twitter, right? At Forge Labs. I'm a man who's desperately in need of followers over there. So. Well, the overwhelming majority of people said that I should build my base. Right here in this frozen wasteland. And uh, you know what? I disagree. There's no way I'm spending a hundred days here in this frozen wasteland. As a matter of fact, let this be a lesson for you, alright? Sometimes, pulls me nothing. I'm a man who makes up his own mind. You could have 300 million people telling me to do I'm not doing it, alright? No way I'm staying in this fro- it doesn't matter. I, I got in my boat, sailed right out of there. I ended up in a nice, beautiful ocean. And you know what? I'm glad I did, because in that ocean I found a- Ooh, look at this. Found something very interesting. Alright, out of the frozen wasteland. Just a man on the open ocean now. Oh, whoa, what's that? Oh, what's that? Oh. Oh, oh, okay, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming. I wrote down in my script that I marked this on the map. I did not mark this area on, on anything. I don't know how I would mark it on a map. There's no map. What, what do I mean I marked it on a... I don't know why I wrote that. So I kept going. I found a ruined nether portal. I swam down and I got one, one of the very special apples. You know, the full gold ones. The good ones. You don't want to waste something like this. Uh, then I found a sunken ship and a private... Look at this. Private island nearby. Now this this is more like it. The only thing is is that there's... You're on the island. You kind of look out across the ocean. There's just nothing. It's kind of boring. So I kept moving and I, I truly wanted to find somewhere nicer to build. And you know what? <laughs> This might seem like a huge waste of time, and if I'm being completely honest, it, it absolutely is. This is a waste of the first few days, but you know what? When a man's spending a hundred days in, in this, you want something nice to look at, or you want something nice on the eyes, you know? So, it's, yeah, I need to do this. So I kept going, kept traveling, kept kept going, 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 and to be honest, this, this might be the furthest anyone has ever traveled in Minecraft. I don't know, someone should go... Someone look that up, because maybe it, maybe I got a world record here, I don't know. Uh, then I spotted something that I thought would help. Oh, they got- Oh, they got no eyes! Oh, where'd your eyes go? Some creepy wolves. Okay, what's this? What's going on here? This is looking cool. What is this? What biome was this? Okay! Okay, 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 okay! Hello, 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 my mans. How's it going? Good to see all of you. I'm actually really liking this. But I wasn't convinced, so I walked around the forest for a little bit. Okay, where, just find somewhere to build. It doesn't matter at this point. This is just getting dumb. It's been like three days of just running around looking... Whoa, 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 whoa! Okay. Is that a little waterfall there? Whoa! This might be the place. It looks nice. I don't like the kind of random train look, but you know what? Sometimes a man just gotta call the turtle. Where are the turtles? Yeah, there, this is it, okay? I'm building right here. Right with the turtles. The only thing is, is that I f forgot about that guy that I had in the... I remember the zombified villager that was in the boat way back, like a million miles away? Well, I had big plans for that man, and now that he was so far away, okay, that guy is... That guy is gone, I will never see that man ever again, so... That's, uh, there, that's where he is. And now I needed resources, and I needed a lot of them. I needed an absolute ton of wood, so I started chopping down trees, but... It was it was those stupid trees that aren't just straight. They're the ones that have all the branches. You know, the ones that you... You, you cut it all down, you think you're done, and you're not, because there's like two little pieces of wood buried in them. Those trees. And the problem with those trees is that... 
I always give up because I'm not I'm not I'm not looking for a little piece of wood and it's like finding a needle in a haystack and then the tree starts floating and everyone goes oh what are you you're leaving floating trees for and I go you, my man you climb that tree you find that piece of wood it's not happening hey that's pretty good I spent the entire day getting wood and uh, just cutting down trees and I was fairly certain that I was gonna build here uh, but by the end of the day I I thought, hey, maybe this isn't the place for a man like me. Maybe there's something better. I saw something nearby that looked a, just a little bit nicer. So I sailed over and sure enough, this area, way better. Get much more scenic. So uh, I started clearing this out and I started building. But the majority of my stuff was uh, back across the lake. So I stopped on the way to look at just how good the area looked. Look at this. Look how beautiful that looks. That was really amazing. Like, look at that. Looks so good. And I got my stuff back and I came right back. Good to be back where I'm building. I'm gonna call this Sean Rock. Beautiful Sean Rock. You gotta come here sometime. Why are you? Please just disappear. Come on. I made a joke about this. Now I just have this here. So I worked away at cleaning this area out at cleaning, clearing. What am I talking about? Uh, and the next day I was, I was a man who was ready to build. There we go. Beautiful sunrise in a nice cleared area. To build my house, I was going to need a lot of stone, an absolute ton of stone. So I thought, you know what, it's time to do some mining. So I found a, a massive chasm and went in. I kind of forgot what I was doing and uh, where I was going. So sure enough, I got lost. Although I did find a ton of iron and eventually I, I found my way out. I have no idea where I am right now. Okay, now I'm getting stone because that last time I was thinking, oh, okay, I want iron. I don't wait. What am I doing here? So I started digging again to this gi gi giant massive tunnel and eventually I ran into some zombies. Luckily, one of them was a villager. Remember, hey, look at that. Remember? I was I lost the man. I was sad that I lost the man. Guess what? New man right here. So it's perfect. So I got the guy to follow me back up. All right, you just got to follow me up to the surface. All right, come on. Oh. Oh. It's quick. My man, come on. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Oh! I got lucky when I got to the surface because it was raining, so it just didn't start burning. I managed to get him in a boat and then seal him up. I'll lock him in a little little box. Well, it's good. Okay. Man in a boat with an eye patch. Looking good. Oh, there's monsters here. Don't, he's not a monster. Don't worry about him. Here, here's a little insight into how my brain works when I'm playing this game. The villager, the zombified villager, reminded me about armor and gear. Because I thought, hey, that guy's going to sell me something good one day. That's going to be, hey, perfect. And then I was thinking, okay, oh, di a gear. Maybe I want some diamonds right now. Completely forgetting that right now my priority should be getting stone to build a house. I went, nope, <laughs> priority is now diamonds. So I started mining straight down, right down to bedrock. Uh, only to realize that this is not, this is a different version of Minecraft than I normally play on. And I was at negative 280. There's no Y11 here. This is Y negative 180. What, or 280. What, what do you do with this depth? So I looked up online of the best way to find diamonds. And it, you gotta go through caves now. So I did that. Okay, there's a lot of... Okay, okay, time to go. Actually, you know what? I looked around the cave for a bit and I came up and slept. So by this point you're probably wondering, what, what are you gonna build? What is, the, what is it that you are going to build? You know what I'm gonna tell you right now? I wanted to build a beautiful castle. It, it, just a stunning mini ca not a giant thing, just a nice mini castle. For a man like me, sleep in the castle would be good. So I had it, I, I felt like I had enough stone from all the mining that I was doing in the cave and stuff like that, but I, I wasn't sure. So, but I thought, you know what, let's just start, start building this thing, see how it goes. Problem was, I had absolutely no idea how to start. I feel like my, my skills with building has just, they've gotten way worse in the past, like, three videos. I've just become the biggest idiot in the planet trying to do this stuff. I knew I wanted the tower, so I got the foundation done and I set that up first. Then I realized that I need to move this man out of the way because he was just kind of getting annoying, so I put him in a hole. Next was the rest of the base, uh, which I was just kind of winging it, making it up as I went. But I ran out of cobblestone pretty quick. I don't know why I thought that I'd have enough cobblestone to build a castle. I probably had like one stack. And that was just more... So, so stupid to me. So I switched to doing the floor and I used oak slabs. It wasn't looking the greatest right now, but I figured with time it would start to look a little bit better. Because right now I was looking real rough. Oh, always so rough at the beginning. It makes a man real worried that he's going to be living in that. Well, there's a man who needed more cobblestone. So I went back underground and just kept mining. Just mining the day away. Hitting the pickaxe into the stone. Bringing it up to the surface. Once I had a decent chunk, I uh, started 
building the rest of the walls. At first, I used cobblestone, but then I switched to some blocks out of, like, regular stone or something. I, you always see the people who are good at building, they use more than one type of block. They use, like, cobblestone, uh, cracked cobblestone, stone. They, they make a nice blend of blocks, and that's kind of what I wanted to go for here. So I started trying to do that the best I could. And I finished the day off by uh, adding more floorboards, because... Yeah, I, the floor is making me feel better about this. Made me feel like it was actually going to turn out good. But then I realized, I, if I'm going to be spending a bunch of time in this same area, I should probably have some sort of a vegetable or fruit or so, something growing around. Something nearby, because soon I'm going to be a very hungry man. If I don't have anything to eat, I'm going to be real, uh, real upset. I also just wanted to be more efficient with my time. I always waste so much time in these things just doing dumb things. So I thought, okay, you know what? Building the castle, getting the, getting the crops growing. That's the, the mind of a smart man right there, I'll tell you that. So I, uh... What do, we, what do I mean, I'll tell you that? Uh, opposite, I need people in the comments to tell me that, right? Tell me what to do, not me tell you. I, I, so I started farming sugarcane, what am I talking about right now? I'm getting so far... I started, I started a sugarcane farm because I want to make enchantments later, right? I always wait so long to do it. I wait till like day 60. I'm like, alright, time to start enchanting my iron gear. No, th this time, doing it right away, being a smart man. So I got some sugarcane growing. First step. Then I went looking for seeds. Uh, picking seeds out of the earth, walking around, looking, hey, give me some seeds, give me that, give me this, give me that. So I got like 19 seeds and I set those up. Uh, then I remembered that a few days ago, I also saw campfire smoke in the distance. Ooh, campfire, hey, that's, that could only mean one thing, a nice village nearby. And I was hoping that maybe they would have seeds there, and uh, maybe they had a potion stand too. Because if I want to cure this villager at some point, I'm gonna need a, gonna need one of those, so uh, I left for it. Yeah, you can see a castle going up there. Good. On the way to the village, I passed through a spruce village. What? No, I passed through a spruce forest, not a spruce village. Wait, when I, I was going to the village. Uh, and I was thinking, hey, this is some good wood right here, pretty good. So, uh, but at the village, I got spruce, the, the wood. I got some seeds, uh, but unfortunately there was no... Uh, that po the, what's it called? Brewing stand? There was no brewing stand. In the morning, I got out of bed and I turned the corner. Oh, look at this! Hey, all these guys in my house now. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, my shield is almost broken. Okay, oh, oh, okay, there's a lot of them. Oh! Okay, okay. Okay, oh, okay. What am I doing? This is, this is there. I want to get them all to shoot each other. Yeah, just keep shooting each other. Oh, no. I don't want to kill the guy with the banner. This guy's going. Oh, the shield broke. Okay. Okay. Oh. He... Okay, stop. You're almost in the boat. There we go. Oh, okay, another man captured. Look at this. Look what I went through just to get all that. Because on the previous day I was looking for that potion stand, it kind of reminded me of the villager. The little zombified villager I had uh, locked up in my... Buried in the floor. I was thinking, alright, you know what, maybe I should, uh... Let's, let's try to cure this guy now. That's, that's my new priority right now. But to do that, it means that I need to go to the nether. And if you, uh... If you watch any of my other videos, you know that... Uh, the nether is not a good place for a man like me. It is... It almost certainly means that I will die. So before going to the nether, I thought, you know what? We're gonna, I'm gonna do it right. I need to get some decent gear first. Some just uh, basic gear, and I thought the best way of doing that was to go back to the village and start trading with them to maybe get some diamonds or something like that. I, I don't know. If you're wondering what I did about the raiders, uh, I put one of the guys in a boat. The guy who, if you kill, you get the bad omen. Yeah, put that man in a boat and just got him out of there, because I'm not not starting a raid. I don't, I'm not doing that this time. I made a fletching table because my plan was to basically do what I did last time, where I just trade a bunch of sticks to the... Uh, archer guy and then use the emeralds to buy stuff from someone else. So that's exactly what I did. Converted this man to a Fletcher, whatever you call him, Archer, and then I uh, went to bed. I spent the entire next day leveling this man up by chopping down trees and trading sticks. You know, by the end of the day, I had so many arrows. So at this point, there's absolutely no reason to get an infinity on a bow. I have unlimited arrows. Just walk over with sticks, boom, you get like a million arrows. This is actually pretty good. And I spent the, the next day doing the exact same thing. Just a full day of trading with this man. And, uh, I kind of, I was kind of, I didn't exactly know what I was doing at this point, or how to get the diamond stuff, I knew how to... I was kind of getting a little bit confused here, and then I spent the next day doing the exact same thing again. Just, just wasting my days trading with this man. By day 20, I started to think, alright, you know what? How do I... 
How do I progress from this point? How do I get to the diamonds? Got all these sticks, but how do I get to the diamonds? I figured with the amount of arrows that I had that maybe I'd be a bit safer in the nether or that I would just take it slow. I don't know. I ended up making- I, I wanted to learn how to lava cast. You know where you get like a water bucket and you make a nether portal from a pool of lava? Well, it's time for me to how to learn how to do that. So I, I I looked it up online. I watched a video on how to do it. And I tried to do it. What am I doing? No, I... I don't know what I'm doing here. What am I doing right now? I don't know how to do this. Hey, I, uh... It took me a while, but eventually I got it. <sighs> okay, so... Yeah, this is going good. Every single time I go to the nether, I die. I, I die. Every single time. I'm just hoping this time is different, you know? Ah, <sighs> please work. Please work. Okay, hey, good. I don't want to die, okay? I don't want to die. Oh, that's nice. Bones right here. That's good. Hey, look at this. Uh, my favorite area to spawn in. Nice slow sand. Nice. Uh, you get to walk nice and slow in this stuff. Hey, this is exactly where I wanted to be. I love this. That was good. Nice slow sand. Anyway, so I started looking around the nether. I was hoping to find a uh, fortress. I was hoping to find a nice, beautiful fortress so that I could get blaze rods or whatever else I needed. Uh, so I started looking around and I, I, I spotted something in the distance. But okay, there it is! Bingo! Found one already! This is perfect! But then when I got close to it, there's a lot of pig people around. And because I, I don't totally know how all, all this works, I was afraid that they were going to kill me, so I approached very slowly and very cautiously. And thankfully none of the pigs attacked me. Uh, but I noticed there was a big stack of gold blocks, and I, I wasn't, I wasn't gonna, hey, you know what, maybe I'll take those. That was, that was a lot of gold right there, maybe I'll, but I didn't know if they would freak out the moment I started mining them, but I, I went up to it, and I tried, and look at this, they, they did not care at all. Then I traded with one of them, and I was really hoping to get some nether wart. I truly hoping to get nether wart. Hello, I'm here to trade the gold I just took from your little house here. Hello! Mm -hmm. uh, look what I got! Who wants this? Come here. Here you go, for you. Yeah, uh, take it! What are you gonna give me? Give me something good. Nether wart. Nether wart. Nether wart. No, not that. Okay, look, look, come here. Nether wart. Nether wart. Nope. That's gravel. Nether wart. Nether wart. Oh! Okay, hold on. It didn't happen. Eventually, I was attacked by a ghast, and I accidentally hit one of the- Look how quickly things fall apart. You, the ghast attacks you, you hit the ghast. No, you hit the, the other pig guy, and then all of a sudden you got every pig in the world chasing you down. Okay. Come on, we were supposed to be- Please, stop! Please! I'm not your enemy! What am I doing? I need to find- I need nether wart. So I hid, and I watched them from afar, and then af I returned after what seemed like it would be enough time to make them forget about me, and uh, yeah, I was able to kill the gas by bouncing one of his attacks back at it. Come on, that's gonna hit him! Oh, look at that! You see that? Direct hit. I explored the fortress, and uh, you know what? I nearly died doing so. That guy doesn't walk. That guy's staring at me. That's a bad guy. What am I doing? What am I doing right now? Just don't be jumping over. It seems like this guy's also mad at me now. No gold? Hey, there we go. Nice again? Normal again? You know what? I think I'm. I think I'm done with this place. I think it's time to get out of here. I found some chests and I had to kill the guys with the the, the ones with the black shirts. They're the ones that attack you. They're, they're the psych, psychotic ones. But I didn't get much from these chests. Uh, especially no nether wart, which is what I really wanted to get. So I left, I looked around more, and uh, my pickaxe broke, and I realized I was pushing my luck, so I went back to the pigs. Tried to trade with them once more. 
I got these fancy boots made me go super fast. Whoa! Look at this! I'm the fastest man alive now! <laughs> uh, then I got out of the nether empty-handed, aside from all the gold that I had, and uh... I, was, I really want another ward. By this point, it was the morning of day 22. Uh, now that I have some arrows, though, I can explore caves again, which I guess is my new way of getting diamonds, because nothing else was working. But I need torches, so I chopped down some trees, I started cooking the wood, and then I went to look for a cave. And I found a massive, absolutely huge- look how big this thing is! But she, the, my plan was to return here tomorrow. So I gathered all my stuff and I came back the next day. Uh, but when I got there, I realized that I had no pickaxe, because I, I, I'm the dumbest man alive. Where's my pickaxe? Oh, I'm gonna have to make my own pickaxe. Okay, there we go. After all that, I now have a pickaxe back. Okay, there we go, iron pickaxe, after all that. So I spent the entire day down there and I got absolutely nothing. Just got shot by a million men. I, I was in like a firing range down there. No diamonds down here? What was the point of doing all this then? The next day I figured that I was going to try my luck in, in a mine again, the, the one that I made. So I went back down and I started exploring and I was not finding any diamonds, but I found a massive chasm. And I figured that, you know what, I'll just go down and I'll have a look. There, there was a ton of enemies down there. And uh, while fighting a creeper, I spotted one single diamond. Oh, another diamond! Alright! It's two diamonds, that's a sword right there. Then I found three more nearby, and I got those, and I figured that I had pushed my luck enough, and it was time to get out. So I left, and on my way out, I found two more! Now look at that, that day 24, beautiful day. By the time I made it out, though, it was the night of day 25. So I slept in, which brought it to day 26, so just, just jumping in time here. Okay, look at that, seven diamonds. I made a diamond pickaxe, and I mined 20 obsidian, uh, which took me probably an hour. Then I made it back to the house, and I harvested my sugar cane, and I planted it again. I started to feel like I was a very rich man. And speaking of farming, oh, completely forgot about my farm, so uh, I worked on that right before going to bed. In the morning, I wrote down in my notes, I found a very cool spider. What? What does that mean? Hey, my man, the spider. How's it going? Oh, hey, she's walking around, have a good time down here on the beach. Oh, okay. Hey, see you later. By this point, I thought that I had enough stuff to make uh, an enchanting table and bookshelves and stuff, so I, I made the enchanting table, which is good. Oh, there we go, enchanting table. Give me a man who's going to enchant so many things. But then I got worried that I would just waste all my sugarcane and wouldn't have enough bookshelves, so I I just I figured I'd wait a little bit longer for it to grow. In the meantime, I wanted to try to make a new nether portal because the area that I was spawning in was just... There was nothing around. There was no fortresses around that area, and I, I desperately needed a fortress, so I figured I'd make a new nether portal somewhere else and just try in a new area of the nether. I sailed across a massive ocean, a huge, huge, huge ocean, and I built a new nether portal. Uh, but when I went through it... This the other, other, why is the other... This is no different. I'm back at the... It's just right there. This is the same place I already was. Okay, so yeah, maybe that massive ocean where it was so big was, uh... It wasn't that massive at all. It was kind of like a 30 second, 30 second trip on a boat, but... Why was I spotting the same area of the nether? I, I, I had the understanding that every portal would put you in a new random area in the nether. Why was I spawning so close? What were the chances of this? When I got home, I realized that my uh, food problem, or my, uh, my food situation rather, was going to be a problem because I was get, running very low. But just like the raccoon living in my walls in my real life house, I thought, you know what, that's a, that's a problem for another day. I will worry about that when, when the time comes. Day 28, alright? Time to try this nether thing again. So this time I, was gonna, I figured I would sail even further. Way further. As far as I could go. Maybe break another world record. So that's what I did. And then I set up a portal. This is- this is still- I'm still in this air- what is going on? This just- The other- it's- the portal's right there! Okay, so now I understand how the nether works. It's just, uh... 
like scaled down version of the overworld. So you could you could effectively use this to fast travel. Hey, that's pretty smart. That's good actually. So instead of sailing all the way back home, I just went through the old portal and boom, look at this, back at my base. Pretty good. Uh, I built a little tower and sat there and waited for my sugar cane to grow. The next day, I uh, was in the hot, sitting in the hot sun waiting. Okay, this stuff needs to grow faster. What are we at? Is it three? After a while, I got bored and I uh, cut the sugar, sugar cane down and made my bookshelves. Turns out that I had 16 and look at this, boom, look at that, man, with the, everything you need to make a most beautiful enchanting table. I made this little platform for the enchanting table over this little, like, I don't know, what you call this, a pond or something? This looks so stupid. What am I doing? Why do I have... Then I enchanted some stuff and I... First, my diamond pick. That was the first thing I got. Look at that. Unbreaking three. Efficiency five. F f four. I don't know what I'm talking about. Then I did my legs and uh, my helmet. You know what? I, I, I can't remember what I did next, but I... I, I made my diamond sword though. I ran around the entire next day trying to get XP because uh, I knew I wanted more enchanting, but it was kind of a waste of a day if I'm being honest. Since I needed XP so badly, I figured, you know what? It's time for me how to learn how to make a XP farm. I, let's let's figure that one out. So I read about one that you could make in the Nether. Uh, but when I got there, I, I got distracted by how fast my boots were and ended up very I was extremely far away from where I was supposed to be. I got scared, so I turned around and tried to get home. You know what? I almost got lost. Yeah, but I made it out. I'll worry about that later. My house sucks right now. I have the worst house in Minecraft history. Uh, so it's time to fix that up. So I tore it all down and used cobblestone to make the cliff face look a little bit better. The other problem I was facing, and this was one that I was uh, talking about a little bit earlier that I should have dealt with. The, time. the food was, I was almost completely out of food. Completely out of food. And I was starting to get a little bit worried about that. But just like the, uh, uh, the night terrors I get in real life when I wake up and then like see people standing in my room. Yeah, I'll worry about that later, all right? So I worked on the house more. Uh, I cleared out a ton of trees and started farming, completely ignoring all the problems I was facing. I was just a man in his carrot farm at this point. Pretty good. Okay, this is good. This is all I got to my name right now, just a big empty field. So I started working on the castle again. And, uh, this time I wanted help. I needed uh, some sort of a guide or whatever. So I got inspiration from Mythical Sausage. Oh, that's, yeah, that's a good name. This is going to be the front entrance right here. It's going to have two big towers. Two huge towers that I can look out of, walk around, do whatever I want out of. Uh, and then a, a big main high wall with a little gate that goes through it. But the problem was that I ran out of cobblestone again. So I spent a good chunk of the day just getting it. I have to rework the wall a little bit, but I don't know how this is going to turn out. And I'm kind of, honestly, I was getting kind of... I was getting a little bit nervous about this whole idea of building a castle. It was really starting to feel like it's, it just wasn't gonna... Yeah, I, I don't know. So next I replaced bits of the wall with stone brick, added some supports, and then finally used uh, spruce trap doors to make this little walkway across the wall. Hey, that's looking pretty good. I started getting the inside part of it done, and honestly, I have no idea what to do past this point. Oh, what it was... Oh, look at this! Illagers showed up and started. I killed them. And I forgot. Now, now I have this stupid raid thing on me. I got one of the towers built, uh, but I'm kind of, kind of bored of building already. I'm starting to feel like I'm not going to be able to build this castle. So I replanted the farm and replaced the carrots. Okay, hey, look at this. A man with a million carrots. It's good. Then I made six hoppers. You're, you're, you're going to see why in a second. It was time to go back to the nether. Yeah, the thing is, is that I need the nether to progress further in the game right now. And I'm, I'm just hitting a wall when it comes to the nether. So I have a new plan. I'll tell you right now. Absolutely foolproof plan. All right. Well, step one. Go to the nether. Okay, easy. Step number two. A little bit more difficult, but it's still not that hard. Go up high in the nether. Get real, real high up there. Step three, just start digging forward. Dig as far as you can. And that's exactly what I did until I realized that this, uh, this might not be a... This might not be a super good idea. So I posted another poll on Twitter. And you know what? I even even came up with a joke. Ju just in case something were to happen to my cousin while he was playing here. I was going to say that uh, we, we got a mathematician and that it didn't count. But you know what? It's all good. Look at this man who kept going all... I dug very, very far and uh, tried to find a fortress several times. I got excited at one point. What's this? Hot tourist... What is that? How do I see what that is? What is... What is, what is that? 
I looked it up. But it turns out that just meant I had gone through every single biome in the nether. Eventually I saw what I thought was one and I spent a long time trying to get down to it and only to realize that it was, it was just another bastion, so I kept going. Later I got tired because most of my diamond pick was almost gone and I didn't want to have this thing break on me. So I looked around for a bit and I saw one of those, you know, those guys who jump around on lava. Can you ride those things? I think you can ride those things. So around this time, I'm like, hey, you know, it's time to go back. Let's get, get back. It was the night of day 42 when I came back. So by the time I slept and everything it was like day 43, I got to work on the wall of the castle again and uh, I, I built most of it. It sort of connects to the enchanting table, which I guess is good. It can kind of like go from the tower down to the table. So while working on the wall the next day, I realized that I was level 31. So I went to the enchanting table and enchanted my sword with sharpness four. And then some more raiders showed up and uh, this thing, look how strong this thing is. My diamond pick is almost broken, so I need to deal with that. So I went mining again, and I found two diamonds. Yeah, pretty good. In the morning, I used the two diamonds to repair my pick, and then I harvested all of my corn. I had tons of it. So then I made a bunch of golden carrots or something like that. It was a yeah, pretty good day. But then I started thinking about those, those lava guys, and I think I saw... I'm pretty sure you can put a saddle on them and ride them across the lava, which might be my ticket to finding a nether fortress. So I'm going to go look for a saddle now. I went to the village, and I... I looked through every house to try to find one, and there was nothing. Absolutely nothing. Around this time, I started to think about what the theme for my next 100 days video would be, and, uh... I don't know. If you have any suggestions, leave a call. I was thinking about doing something in VR again. But I, just thinking about doing 100 days in VR makes me feel sick to my stomach, so... I, I don't know. I didn't find a saddle in the village. I, I found absolutely nothing, but I did find this, this beautiful view. Whoa! Whoa, look at this. This is... This is beautiful here. So that next morning I was... I woke up and I started thinking, hmm... I'm gonna blow my castle up. Remember those hoppers I made? You know what, it's time to use them. So I went back to the nether, I dug a hole, and I... It was it's a giant... I shouldn't call it a hole, it was a giant pit. I filled it with the hoppers, and then I set up some trap doors, uh, and then I shot some- I got the pig people to chase me. Come on in! Hello, 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 hello! Come around the corner! Go down the hole, there we go! Two! Three! Oh, here if you just work, come on! Four, five, six! Seven! Eight! Nine! Ten! Oh, here we go! Oh! Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen! Anyone else? Hey, you? Fifteen! Sixteen! Let's go see him. They fall down, I kill them, I get the XP. The only problem is, is that I, I have no idea how to leave this thing. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, that was close. Eventually I made it out and I made a run for it. Is there any way that I can survive this? I have... Okay. I have to think right now. I have to think. I found that potion of fire resistance at one point. That better be in my... Okay. I'm going to hit this lava. I need to immediately press E, drink the potion of fire resistance, and get to that thing on the side there. Okay, okay, okay. Somehow I made it out alive, and I and I saw that there was two and a half minutes left on my potion, and th there was a chest across the lava lake, and I thought, okay, you know what? There absolutely has to be a hopper in there, or not a hopper, it's a saddle. So I jumped in the lake and I swam. How long is two minutes? I just came here for that? Yeah, and turns out the chest, oh, had nothing in it. Absolutely nothing at all, so it was just a big waste of time, and now it's stuck here. Let's, uh... Well, I wasn't really stuck, I just kind of dug out, but, you know, it was kind of... I, I don't know why I did this. So now I need to figure out how to get a saddle, because this thing... 
I need to be able to traverse across the lava, and uh, I, I don't know, I'm just getting stuck in the game, getting absolutely stuck. So I looked around all day for one, and I, I did not find a saddle. Normally I find hundreds of these things every time I play Minecraft, and the day a man needs one, you, yeah, I get nothing. So I, back, I went back out on day 50 to look for another one. I went for, no, I, was, I was trying to find a village, because I thought that would probably be the best way of finding one. Uh, so I sailed in the opposite direction this time, towards those, like, remember those giant ice spikes from the beginning of the video? Uh, well, I found the ice, and then I started flying across. Did you know that you could use a boat on ice and how fast you go? Like, just look at this. Felt like I was in Mario Kart. Ah! I crashed towards a giant pile, though, and uh, or this giant pit. But why was there a, just a giant big hole here? I landed on a small piece of water. Th thankfully, I landed on this tiny little piece of water and didn't, didn't die. But then I made it back to the ice spikes and uh, I kept going. Eventually, I saw a village. Hello, hello, hello. Who's got a saddle for me? There was no saddle here, so I just slept. I was back on the road in the morning. A man's got to find a saddle. Not going home without one. Not going home empty handed. Uh, but I almost immediately got attacked by. Remember what I said about polar bears? How I don't understand them? Look what happened here. Okay, relax. Okay, with whatever that was out of the way, I went into the ice spikes even further this time. Just kept going deeper into the maze. I have no idea how big this biome is supposed to be, but it, it seemed like it was just massive. Honestly, I think I got a third world record here for being the most time spent in uh, ice spikes or most... Uh, dude, I, I don't know what I'm trying to say here. There, if, after sailing through them for a while, there was a small break, and I saw uh, trees in the distance, and I got kind of excited. Oh! What are you doing? Whoa! I don't want to kill you, you're a kid. Whoa! Yeah, relax. Whoa. Look, your kid's freezing. You're, you... Don't worry about me, worry about your kid. Whoa, whoa! I can't be doing- Whoa! The, the kid's in the boat now, the kid's in the boat. I'm sorry I'm stealing your kid. I'm sorry, I don't want to do this, but you did this to yourself. Hey, so now I'm uh, geez, I'm stuck with this polar bear cub, and I I found a place to stay for the night in this small ice cave. So I set up some lights and barricaded, and I just kind of waited for the morning. What am I supposed to do with this polar bear? What am I supposed to do with a man like this? So once the sun came up, I got in the boat and tried to sail home because I guess now I'm gonna I gotta take care of this polar bear. You know, came out for a saddle, came back with a whole bear. I wonder if I can, maybe I can turn this thing into a saddle. So, I don't know. So I, I kept sailing with it, and I was getting kind of worried as I would approach other polar bears, because I think I figured out that they attack you when you when you have a cub nearby, and now I'm, I'm sailing around with one, so... Yeah, that's good. You gonna attack me? I'm telling you right now, it's not your cub, okay? It's not your cub. It's not your cub! But it seemed fine, and I got pretty far. Then I heard the bear make a new noise. And I turned around, and this man was fully grown in one day. And I don't want a full-grown polar bear with me. Then I accidentally hit it, and I got mad, and so I just left. Okay. Now the bear's turned on me. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Yeah, I, I'm not- this is not something that I want to be doing right now. But this was actually kind of good, because if I was never attacked by the polar bear, I would not have gotten out of the boat, and if I didn't get out of the boat at this exact point, I wouldn't have seen this sunken ship. And if I had not swam down to the sunken ship, I would never have found this treasure map. Alright? So, you know what? I'm- I'm a big fan of the polar bear now, so it's all good. Uh, but then I- I couldn't find my next marker that I had set up. So I got lost and just spent another night in a dirt hole. In the morning, I crawled out of the hole and I looked around. And I found some of the other markers and I made it home. And you know what? I did not like what I saw when I got there. Look at that. That looks so bad. That looks, that looks horrible. Just like, what is it? Like sewage drain coming out of it. You got a guy with a loaded crossbow sitting out front. That's good. My castle's just horrible. I- I am not capable of building what I set out to build. It's very clear that I'm a man who's never gonna be able to build a castle, so... You know, and I, why do I- I don't even want to live in a castle anymore. The only thing that I- I kinda did like about this whole base that I had set up was my... corn farm. I had a lot of it. I spent the rest of the day doing some enchanting. I was hoping to get some- some very cool enchantment on one of my weapons or something like that. But I just got a bunch of garbage. Just a ton of garbage and wasted up a ton of levels. That was until that I saw that... 
Infinity was available for my bow. And as soon as I saw that, I went, okay, there it is, jackpot. Infinity, that's perfect. The only problem was that I was level 26 and I needed four more levels. So, yeah, I don't know. The following day, I went back to the nearby village and I started cutting down trees and getting cobblestone because, yeah, you remember that spot that looked really nice? I said, well, look how beautiful this is near the village. It's nice, nice, beautiful lookout. Well, you know what? I'm building a house here and it's not gonna be some crazy house. It's just gonna be a simple house. A nice window that I can look out and see this beautiful view. It's day, day 56, I'm finally starting to build a house now. What is, like, what, or day 54? Day fi not day 56, day 54. Uh, I don't know what's going on at this point. The idea was to have it kind of raised off the water and kind of coming out of the, like, kind of hill or cliff here and, and make it almost look modern. I, I don't know. The, the idea was to have a modern house, that's what I'll tell you. It didn't end up looking like that at all, but, yeah, who knows, okay? First step was to build supports, so I got those built. Next, I needed smooth stone, but I... I didn't want it to take forever, so I was trying to be a pro Minecraft player, so I, I thought, okay, you make stone quicker if you had a blast furnace. So uh, I set out trying to make a blast furnace. I went back to the castle, or should I say castle ruins, uh, but on my way, I found, I found this massive hole. What is that? Okay. Look at that. It revealed, uh, there's a whole cave down here. The whole giant cave system down here. And I thought, you know, okay, you know what? This is something I need to check out right now. So I got a bucket and I came back and I used the bucket to get down below. Oh my God. Oh. Hey. Look at that. Hello, hello, hello. I killed all of that stuff and explored for a while. I, I found a, what are they called? Axolot? Ax Ax I, I don't know what these things are called. These little lizards. Uh, then I kept going. Hey, got ya. This was a massive cave system. And I was down there for a while and I, I wasn't finding anything at all until a creeper exploded and revealed. Look at this. This is the creeper of my dreams. Hey. My man. Then I found another nearby and another on my way out. This was a, you know, a good day. But when I got back to the village, uh, all the villagers that were in this thing, this like, I don't know what these things are, but they were dead. They're slaughtered. Yeah, you know what? This fine, didn't need these guys anyway. The next day I crafted the blast furnace and found out that uh, this was just a massive waste of time. What? What is... What's the point of a blast furnace? Then I made a stone cutter and you know what? Hey, same thing. You, you don't use a stone cutter to do this. I don't know what you use a stone cutter or a blast furnace for is so... Yeah, I just have those things now. So it was back to the old-fashioned way where I made five furnaces and just got cooking. I spent the entire next day just cooking stone. Uh, then I made a diamond chest piece, which was, it was thankfully good to have this now. I needed some serious protection. I was running out of food though, uh, so I went back to the castle and I spent the day spear fishing. Uh, then more stone cooking the next day until I realized I was level 29 and I did some trades to get to level 30. Now that I was level 30, it was a perfect day 60, so I went back over to the uh, enchanting table and put infinity on my bow and flame. Infinity and I'm breaking three. Why did I put infinity on my bow? That was really stupid. I I have to be one of the biggest idiots who's ever played this game. I had unlimited arrows. The, the Fletcher, how could I forget that? I had like a thousand arrows in a chest too. What was the point of getting infinity? I, I, I don't know why I do stuff like this, but I just act without thinking. Uh, but now I wanted to enchant my diamond in chest, enchant my diamond chest piece. So I spent the day getting XP from the trader. Then I enchanted it and I got protection four on it. Then I finally started building the house, and I have no idea what I was doing here. I wasn't using a guide. I had no idea what I wanted it to look like. I was just, just guessing at this point. So I was using smooth stone, uh, and I was kind of making it the trim around. But I wasn't kind of sure how it looked. I was, it might be an overlook. It might be a deck. I, I don't know. I was just kind of putting blocks down. But I sort of figured it out, I guess. Uh, the trim will be smooth stone and the floor will be wood. The first square is going to be this entrance deck area. Then the, the other section, which I haven't built yet, will be the actual house. And that will give me a nice look. If you look out the window here, you're going to see all the, the beautiful surroundings. It's going to look so nice. So I started trimming it, but then I realized there was a problem. I put my first three smooth stone blocks up vertically. Uh, and the glass is it's not going to look good this way. So it's coming up from the wood, so I... Had to pull the trim back, and then I made a little pillar or something like that. It was just trying to make it look... I was focused on the windows, not the actual layout of the house, which was probably a mistake. So I built more the next day, and kind of had no idea what I was doing at this point. And I was starting to get a little bit frustrated, because... You remember at the beginning of the video when I said that 
for some reason, the last few attempts I've had at building houses in Minecraft, they've just gotten worse. This is a prime... I... I suck at building stuff in Minecraft now. I have no idea how to do it. And this house is just another example. Another, another one of the failed buildings I've tried to make. How do you make stuff look nice? I, mean, I was hoping that when I put the windows up, it would kind of save it and make it look better, but... I did that. I put the windows up and uh, I, I don't know. I, I just realized I now hate the smooth stone. I spent a ton of time making it. So that's good. It was a good waste all that time. On day 65, I worked on it more. I replaced the smooth stone now with, I think, just regular cobble. And by the next day, I was hoping that things would turn around and start to look better, but I was still struggling. It still wasn't looking great. I was struggling both mentally and physically at this point. The plan was to make the roof out of stone, but then I started thinking about it, like, why would the roof be made out of stone? The stone is so heavy, why would you put that on the roof? Shouldn't you put wood on the- I don't know what I was doing here, nothing was thought out, nothing was planned, everything was just- I, I have no idea. For some reason on day 67, I went underground. Don't know why I went down there, I guess I just wanted- I didn't want to look at the house anymore. Uh, but when I got down there, I found this zombie spawner and uh, started just slashing away at them. I didn't want to kill the spawner because- why, why would I do that? You can get free XP from one of these things, so I started cutting them down as much as possible. And then on my way out, I remembered... Uh, I'm supposed to be getting iron down here. I want to make a new set of gear and try to get water enchants so that I can raid a water temple. When did I get the idea to raid a water temple? I have no idea, but I remember that I needed a saddle and I was hoping maybe I'd find one in the water temple. At some point, that had crossed my mind. Didn't write it in the notes, so here you're getting, I'm catching you up now. The plan was to get iron gear now. Okay, let me ask you a question. When you watch some other 100 days videos, how many of them are in... Not even full iron gear on day 67. How, how many people are struggling as much as me? And this isn't even modded Minecraft. This is regular Minecraft. Wh I, what is going on with me? So I went back down to get iron and I, I got a decent amount, but I realized I'm an idiot and all my armor was broken. It got worse when I was chased. I got chased by a whole horde of zombies. Okay. Oh! Oh! Little one. Oh! Well, there's a lot of them. Okay, here they go. It's three. Four. Oh! 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 Here it comes! Look at Oh! 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 Going down. Eventually, I killed them all and escaped. I went back to the castle the next day and, uh, yeah, look at this, just another unfinished project. I enchanted my gear and I got Respiration 2 on my helmet and then some other stuff on my legs. I, to be honest, I forget what it was. So I went swimming to see how much it helped and it helps a bit. So, it, I'm gonna need that for when I go down to this the water temple. Uh, but I also made some doors, because I heard that if you make doors, you can effectively breathe underwater with them. So I sailed around for a while until I found a temple, and I parked my boat in a way that I would know which way to go when I came back up. Then I swam down and started clearing out the temple, having absolutely no idea what I was doing. Okay, I'm dumb. Oh! 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 Okay, it's dangerous here. I can't block that. But how many of these things are there? Oh! Okay, there's a big one there. Right there, whoa! Yeah, I killed it! Stop! I'm gonna drown! Oh, there's a big guy in here! Oh! Whoa! After killing all three fish, I got like three sponges. What am I supposed to do with sponges? I mean, where, where was the saddle? There's supposed to be a saddle down here. Absolutely nothing, so I just... I, I don't know. So I tried to leave on day 71, and you know what? It was absolutely brutal. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, just leave. Just swim out of here. Oh, that's nice. Oh! Oh! There's so many of them! Okay, I gotta figure out how to get out of here. With my boat all jumbled up, I had no idea how to get home. So I sailed in a direction that I thought would get me home. I was just hoping. If, if, I, if I'm being completely honest, it's mostly just a guess. And look at that, sure enough, I was a very lost man very quickly. Okay, it was on my left when I approached. Right? So it's gotta be on my right when I leave. This way. It's gotta be this way. 
follow the stars and you'll get home. I kept looking around and sailing, and eventually, if I think just by luck, I, I made it. I don't want to cause an alarm, but I do not remember going through this to get there. It's time to go mobile. What movie is that from? Name the movie. Na name the movie right now in the comments. I'll give you another hint. Ah, I lost my base. My name is Bane. I lost my Minecraft base. Oh, I almost walked in lava. This skeleton's gonna go. Oh, I found it. Hey. I was just thinking, well, what am I gonna say to figure out how to get to my... Hey, turtle, good to see ya. Hello, 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 hello. Let me give you a little bump. Boom. There you go. You wanna get in the boat? There. Yeah, there you go. Me and the turtle. Let's go. Love this guy. I don't know why I wanted that turtle, so I just parked that man somewhere and left. Back to working on the house, and now the, the, the water temple was done, and what did I walk away with? Three sponges that I don't... What am I going to do with those? Wow. This is looking really good. This is looking really, really good. I'm just going to jump off this area. I worked on the house more, and uh, while I was up on the roof, I was adding panels. And then I realized the stone... What am I doing with this stone still? It's just completely pointless. So I got rid of the stone and started swapping it out for wood, and it, I was at least starting to like it a little bit more. So I worked on it more day 74, and I got most of it done. Uh, it was starting to look a little bit better uh, now that it was wood, and I added some depth to the edge by putting these slabs down and the windows and the frames, and, and everything was... It was actually not too bad when I was at this point. Okay, good old day 75, right? It's a beautiful day. I built most of the overhang on the patio, and it took me a while, but I figured out how to blend it. Uh, but I got it... Uh, I, I don't know. It just it started looking... You know what? I, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm saying. 76, I did basically the same thing the next day. The whole house is looking way better now. Especially now that I added some side supports to the main supports, and there's some railings. It's just starting to come together. It's not as... Not as bleak as it was. That thing was looking... It wasn't looking too good before. The next day, somehow I... I got lost while working on the house. I think I went out to get some wood or stone or something. I didn't want to cut down the trees that were super close to the house, so I wandered a little bit too far and just... Yeah, I, I don't know what happened. How did I get this far from my... Oh, it's looking good, though. Okay. I kept working on the roof because, you know what? I, I just want to get this house done. The next day, I was just working on the roof again. I was a man in the sun. Work, 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 and... Working his little Minecraft hands out, trying to get this whole thing done. I finally finished the roof by day 79. Okay, the roof! It's done! A man with a beautiful roof! No more. Could you want? But the inside looked really bad now. It looks so bad inside. So the next day, I was feeling a bit better though. Look how good this looks. Like, this looks amazing. Okay. Now I'm feeling good. And then I started prepping some supplies because yeah, I figured, you know what? I'm going to go on an expedition to uh, find some of the stuff I need, like a saddle. It's going to be it's going to be good. One of the things that I really wanted to get was a saddle. Because if I got a saddle, it meant that I could get on one of those lava creatures in the nether and I could sail until I found a fortress. Because if I found a fortress, then I could finally progress in this game. So a saddle was... It was my one, it was my ticket to the nether, to, uh, ticket to the fortress. So that's what I went out to find. It's gonna be good. So I set sail and, uh, wow. This, this whole area just looks so beautiful. Oh, ho, ho, look at that. That looks beautiful. But shortly after that, I saw this thing. What is that? Whoa. Whoa. Oh, he's killing him! That was really close. What, what was I doing there? What am I doing here in, in general? There's another one throwing another thing. I ended up sleeping on the coast nearby. In the morning, I swam back down and fought all the zombies. I, I wanted one of those trident things that I always hear people talking about, but none of the zombies were dropping them, and I was... I, I just wasn't getting them. I looted one chest, and I found absolutely nothing, so I just kept going. I sailed through the night and found what I thought was a desert, uh, but it turns out it wasn't. It, it was not a desert at all. It was just a ton of enemies, and I almost died fighting more trident zombies. Oh my god. 
You can come on land? So I sailed further and uh, went through this absolutely beautiful jungle. Oh, ho, ho, look at this. Beautiful. I kept going, though, and uh, yeah, there were some very cool areas I was finding as I went. Until I found a ruined nether portal. There was a ton of gold around it, and I thought, you know what, let's... Yeah, I'm gonna go in this thing. So I got it mostly repaired, and then I just slept there for the night. I wanted to go in there the next day, but the only problem was, was that I didn't have flint and steel. So I went down to the bottom of the lake, and uh, then I got flint. Or sorry, I got... I, no, I didn't go down to the bottom of the lake. What am I saying? I went mining. I got a little bit of iron, then I came back up, and I got a little bit of flint. And together I made flint and steel, and with that, I went straight into the nether again. There it is! The fortress is right- I could not believe my eyes. When a man saw that beautiful fortress, a man like me, let's just say I was smiling. I was feeling real good. Very, very- I- the whole reason I went on this expedition was to find a saddle so that I could find one of these things. And here I was, standing, staring at one. This is incredible. So I was in there for a while, and I was raiding the fortress. I was cutting down whatever those the blazes. I was, I was shooting down the uh, wither skeletons, the regular skeletons. I was jumping all over the place. There was a pig at some point. There was a whole... Everything was going well. Okay. Oh! 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 But then I realized something. There was... Uh, th this was it. There, there was no other sections to the fortress. Everywhere I started digging to, or going down into, or looking around, it just was a dead end everywhere. So I didn't find any nether wart, which was the entire reason I came here. I mean, I got a ton of blaze rods, I had like 15 of them. But I had no nether wart. So this was... Yeah, I, I don't know. I finally came out of the nether on the morning of day 85, and I was strapped, loaded up, ready to go. So I kept sailing in the morning, kept going, just got in the boat and sailed, 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 because I was looking for, uh... I wanted Ender Pearl, so I thought if I found a desert, it would be a good way of finding Endermen. I don't know why I assume that Endermen spawn in a desert, I've just kind of... I, I don't even know, is that true? I, I have no idea. Anyway, so I just kept sailing. Okay, desert. It was a desert, right? This is, well, this is not a desert, this is an island. Okay, that was not a desert, so I uh, just slept. I tried sailing home, but you know what? I got completely lost. At some point, I f found a few treasure maps, and since I had no clue how to get home, I followed one, and it brought me to a beach, so I started digging, and digging more, and just kept digging. It's been almost the entire day. Look, at, th at some point, I had this whole area just dug out. No treasure. But you know what? I forgot to record, so you're not going to see most of that. Uh, so I just... I found nothing and slept. There's no treasure down here. There's nothing down here. There's a guy who's been digging the world's biggest hole. Look, look at this. Where's the treasure? Okay, after watching a guide, I, I found exactly how you do it. So I did that, and boom, look at this. Got a nice little treasure chest. It's good. Hey! Oh! I don't know if I've found a chest before. Or done the treasure thing before in Minecraft. If I haven't, and this was my first time, whoa, look at that. Another beautiful world record by me. That was good. You know what's also good? Being in a swamp and having no idea how to get home. Just being completely, absolutely, utterly lost. That was me. A man, a man with nowhere to go, nowhere to... nowhere how to... What am I saying right now? The next day I did the exact same thing. I just walked around all day long. Just... I think I was hoping that eventually I would walk into something that resembled something that I was familiar with, but that didn't happen at all. I just get- I was getting further and further away from my house and becoming even more and more lost. Speaking of which, at this point I, I think I, I must have broke my other world record of furthest distance traveled in Minecraft because I was- I was on the other side of the world at this point. Oh, look at that view. That's good. I just slept on a mountain. Day 90. Alright, day 90 was, uh... I don't even know what to say about day. In the morning, I started practicing that water uh, bucket jumping thing. I did, I did it! I can do it every single time. And I felt like, oh, I was getting very good at it. Very, very, I was having a, almost a 100% success, almost 100% success rate. And I felt like I had truly mastered it. That at this point, there it was almost 0% chance that I would ever screw this up. So when I got up to this massive mountain, I thought this was an absolutely perfect opportunity to break yet another world record for the highest 
possible jump and save with the water bucket. Oh, ho, ho, look at that. Wow. I had been practicing it so much. At this point, I felt like I was a true master and that if I pulled this off, I would have another world record. I should also mention that my plan was to make a backup of the world save so that if the small, basically impossible chance that I don't make the jump were to happen and I were to die, I would simply just back up the world and make a joke about the death and it, it would be fine. So with that in mind, I took the jump. No, don't do it. What are you, why are you even thinking about it, Sean? Why, why was it even crossing your mind for like a second? It's day 90. Oh my god, why did I do this? Why did I do this? <clears throat> I, um, unfortunately, I forgot to make a backup of the world save file. So, uh, okay, so I, I uh, pulled up the coordinates to see how far I was from my house. And turns out I was, I, I was far enough that I just walked into the nearest uh, uh, water and just drowned myself. Okay, you want to see the death? You just, uh, well, just here it is. Just put, play the whole clip. Oh my God! Why did I do this? Why did I do this? What is wrong with me? It's day ninety. I have to be the stupidest man alive. Wow, day ninety-one, and I'm, I'm. Literally right back where I started on day one. Like this is this is where I spawned. No, it's good. So I just slept in that small cave for the rest of the day. I started sailing home and some, and I just ended up sleeping in a village on my way back. Day ninety-two was just a, a sad, sad day for a sad man. I finally made it home on day ninety-three and just, I'm glad to be home. Hey, okay, I'm home. Coming home with stone tools and no armor. Yeah, perfect. It's exactly what you want. I went back to my castle to try to re-gear, except I didn't ha I, I had next to nothing at the castle. So I grabbed one of the treasure maps and thought, you know what, if a man who's got nothing, may as well just go look for treasure in the... I, I don't know, just follow the treasure map. And when I found it the next day, there was... It bas it's just a few scraps of iron in there. I'll set back, all that for a little bit of iron. So that's, uh, that's good. Day 95, got, got next to nothing. Broke man, broken spirit, broken everything. Just ran home. I found a mine and went mining, and I dug under until I found a giant cave and started exploring it. At first, I, I was mostly just getting iron and lots of it, which was nice because at the very least, I'm going to finish this with iron gear. Yeah, I was, I was getting very afraid that I was going to finish this whole thing with nothing because that would be just one of the worst things. Anyway, so eventually I found a zombie spawner, uh, and that had a saddle. So that's a... Uh, there's a saddle. It's been so long looking for one of those. And a name tag, wow. Then I kept going and I found a, well, one single diamond, yes! And I got nervous about finding my way back, so I just tunneled around and sure enough, I got lost. I didn't, this wasn't... This wasn't part of that. I made it out and, uh, you know what, it, it was not great getting out of that place. Okay. Okay. Okay! Okay! What is going on? I made it home in the morning on day 97 uh, with a ton of iron, so that's... I was at least able to craft some iron, and I thought, you know what, I may as well make the house look a little bit nicer, because right now it's just an open square, like me. Just an I got nothing in me. That's how I felt, so I thought, you know what, I'm gonna light... Make it a little bit nicer in here, so I, I started building a, a nice fireplace to warm my spirit. Make, make myself feel better. But even that I couldn't get right. The fireplace was just, it was not looking good. But by the next day, th things were starting to come together. I, I at least could figure out that there was a shape I liked to it. I added this little overhang and I made it so that it was like in the center. I just started to, to work it a little bit better and realized that, you know what, if you keep working at something, you can make it look a little bit better. So by the next day, at the end of the day, I had it, it was looking a little bit nicer. Okay, here it is. Look at this beautiful thing. What's the, I, I forget what these things are called. Fireplace. Then you come around, you got my nice little bed in there. Middle night, you roll over straight. Oh! Day 99. Now, you might be thinking this is the end of this, this crazy journey. And you might be right. But there was still one thing that I wanted to do. One final thing that I had been trying to do from pretty much the beginning of this 100 days. Ride one of those lava creatures. I wanted to ride that thing across the lava and end it on day 100 in the middle of a lava lake. So I grabbed the saddle and... I went into the nether. 
I climbed down to one of the lava lakes and uh, found one of those creatures and tried to get it to come over to the shore. Eventually it did. And so, I rode it. Okay, how do I catch one of these things? Hey! Come here! Hey! Hey, hey! There we go! Why, how, why, why can't it move? Come on! No! No, 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 what? What do you want? You want Come on! I don't- What do you want to eat? This brick? What do they want to eat? Fish? No, you're walking off with my saddle! Come on, come- Come on! You're not- It's this guy! Come on! Come on! Whoa, okay! Get out! Okay, that, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. That's a hundred days in Minecraft. That, that's a hundred- I'm counting that as a hundred days. That's a hundred days. 